Google is dead, finished, over, kaput. Chat GPT, maybe you've heard of it. Cast your minds back to November 2022. The arrival of the Google killer in Chat GPT sent the world into frenzy, thinking we were living through another tech meltdown. But fear not, Google have an ace up their sleeve, Bard. Google says it's launching its own artificial intelligence-powered chatbot to rival ChatGPT, which mimics human writing on demand. But what is Bard? Bard is Google's artificial intelligence chatbot that will work similarly to ChatGPT through conversation as a convolutional neural language model. The new Google chatbot is based on Google's model for dialogue application or Lambda. Bard will shortly be introduced on a testing basis for new users before going out to the general public. Bard will likely work as a search assistant, given Google's background as a search engine, with Bard able to create a short text summary of your results, rather than just seeing a broad index of links to web pages. As people turn to Google for deeper insights and understanding, AI can help us to get to the heart of what they're looking for. We're starting with AI-powered features in search that distill complex information into easy-to-digest formats so you can see the big picture and then explore more," said Alphabet Chief Executive Sundar Pichai. Lambda has been in the works for years now, and Google have been working on Bard as an experiment, likely due to the intense competition in the sector over the last 12 months. Google wants to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power, intelligence and creativity of their large language models. It's been released with their lightweight model version of Lambda, which maybe suggests that Google are on the back foot versus their competitors. But Google say it's because this smaller model requires significantly less computing power, which enables them to scale to more users for faster feedback, meaning they don't hit the same roadblocks that ChatGPT did. And in spite of the excitement around Bard, its demo fell flat on its face, with Bard spitting out incorrect information to an audience of millions. It suggested that the James Webb Space Telescope took the first picture of a planet outside of our solar system. But Grant Tremblay of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics quickly pointed out that this wasn't true. If only the team at Google had fact-checked their own information on the original Google search. This is obviously embarrassing for Google, but what's worse is that it caused Google's share price to fall by about 10%. And that doesn't sound like much, but in reality, it's $120 billion. Now that's what I call a flop. It really is one step forward, two steps back. And no wonder Google are feeling the pressure. ChatGPT was the fastest company ever to reach a million users in just five days, and a hundred million users in two months. And it had a media frenzy to boost its popularity, whether it's the best AI platform or not. The Chinese search giant, Baidu, also recently announced a ChatGPT-style chatbot, and Bard is far back in the queue of recent AI announcements. Microsoft have also just piled money into OpenAI, ChatGPT's parent company, which suggests that AI is the next big thing in the tech world. Following ChatGPT's success over the last two months, it's rumored that Google was working on a project called Atlas, which is obviously now revealed as Bard. This was a code red effort to compete against OpenAI, with a dedicated team of engineers tasked with working day and night to get Google back on top. With Bard, they hope they can continue to operate the most efficient and effective search engine that no longer just shows links, but rather an explanation of the subject matter within those pages to better convenience Google users. Bard differs to ChatGPT because it won't go public straight away. OpenAI used public inputs to act as feedback so the engineers could close loops and enhance the product in real time. With Bard, however, Google is presenting the software to a small handful of selected users to provide feedback alongside the views of Google employees. Google believes that AI is the most profound technology that we're working on today. It can help many people do many things, like helping doctors to detect diseases earlier or helping people to translate languages faster. 
In any case, it could improve billions of lives. Google feel it will help them to achieve their mission, to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Google have even gone on the offensive, investing and partnering with Anthropic, an AI startup led by some of the former open AI leaders. We leave you with the question of why did Google name it Bard? You'd think they'd have teams of people, committees and experts suggesting different ideas and they came up with Bard. We think it's weird. What do you think?